Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage. Today's episode, we have another mailbag day. This is where I've been storing up all kinds of packages and I open them up and show you what I'm getting. So some of these are for fun, some are for spec, some are for signings. You know, it just varies from book to book. I have weird tastes, so it's always fun opening these. And some of these books have been sitting here for like six months and I have no idea what's in them. But first, I want to start off with that little segment that I've been doing called The Package of Shame. And oh boy, do we have a package of shame today. Now, I was not going to do a mailbag day today, and then this came in and it's like, I am definitely returning this. So I wanted to get it open and show it to everyone and shame the person that sold this. Look at this. Really? Are you kidding? It's a padded envelope. Oh, no, no, no. Though th th There is some protection in here. You ready for this? Really? Look at that. You want to see the book? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. My, what a lovely wrinkle you've discovered. This thing was mint when it was shipped. Oh, like a nice little crease right. So, so look at the protection on this. Look at, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell is that going to protect? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is getting returned. Already opened a case on eBay. I can't believe it. So, on the flip side, we have good packaging. Look at this. This is a book I ordered from the UK from a company called a place in space. Look at this. Let me show you what's in here. I actually know what's in here because I ordered this one recently. All right. This is that. Oh, and this mailer is getting reused because, wow, even though it came from the UK, it is in perfect shape. Awesome. So what I got was that beautiful Batgirl 28 Middleton cover. Now, the reason I got this out of the UK is because at the time when I ordered it, it was selling for crazy prices on eBay. So it was during the pre-order phase. And Place in Space was the only place that had it for cover. And even with shipping, it was cheaper than buying it in the US. Even currently, with it coming down in price, it was still about going rate as buying it in the US. So I couldn't complain. It took about a month to get here though, but wow, man. Place in space. Do not be afraid to order from those guys. Like I said, it takes a little bit because you're ordering uh, from the UK, but man, yeah, they know how to treat a customer. And all these crazy books that are like sky high prices before release, they usually still have them for cover. So, all right, what else do we got? Man, yeah. See, look at that. That's how you, I don't even know where to start to get into this tank. Oh, actually, let me show you. This is the rest of the stack that I have. So, yeah, I forgot about that. I just really just tore right into this bad boy. Let's see if I can get through here. I mean, I am sure there is a ton of cardboard on these. Come on. You can do it. Wow, it's so tight against here that it's hard to actually get open. Man. Yeah, look at that. Wow, nothing was gonna hurt those books whatsoever. Let's see what these are. Oh, hey, I know what these are. From Chaos Comics. This is the Rack and Pain Killers miniseries. This is all four issues, and each one has these beautiful J. Lee covers. Just gorgeous. Man, this is when his work was so gritty. He was just like throwing paint on here. Effects like this, he was just splashing black and then scraping across it with a razor blade to get these awesome streaks. Man, I love this guy's artwork. Really, really excited to get these. And I bought them for a killer price. Rack and pain killers. All right, let's see what else we got. Another one. Look at that. How you pack a comic. 
going on here. And we got an invoice. Doo -doo -doo. Doesn't even say what I have in here. All right, let's see what it is. It is eBay tape. Actually, it looks like there's two books in there, so I must be careful. Noise. Why is there a book just floating in there with no bag and board? That's not good. There's one bag and board, one not. Okay, so let's see what this is. First up, oh, it's the free comic book day Barriers book. That's crazy. Why would somebody just throw that in for free? That was definitely a freebie on that. Man. That's awesome. That's such a great story. I can definitely see this being optioned in one form or another for a movie or a TV series. In that case, this book is kind of spec going on. All right, so what do we got? Oh. Lady Death number one from Chaos Comics. Beautiful J. Scott Campbell cover. Look at that. I had no idea until recently that J. Scott Campbell had done some chaos work. I think he only did the cover. He didn't do the interior. But still, beautiful. Had no idea. Awesome. All right. Let's see what's next. What's next is another amazing... Amazing. Well, I just stuck this piece of tape on there. Amazing mailer. Not a Gemini mailer, but still. Awesome. At least I don't think it's a Gemini mailer. What do we got? Oh, it is totally a Gemini mailer. Look at that. Okay, what are you? Oh, we got some tape holding you shut. We are a book that is upside down. Another one that's in really, really good shape, so I will reuse this mailer. The thing about Gemini mailers is they last a long time in the mail, and you can reuse them at least two times. Hey, look at that. Definitely going to reuse this. Let's see what the book is. The book is. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> All right, that was that was anticlimactic. Apparently, there's backboards on both sides. So, okay, let's try that again. That was funny. Oh, hey, look at that. Green Lantern's 48 variant cover. Wow, this has been sitting around a long time. This is a beautiful variant cover for this comic that I wanted and could not find it. Any of my LCSs, they were all sold out. So I. Went to eBay and ordered it. That was kind of cool. And I got a free bag and board I can reuse. All right. You go there. All right. What's next? Another awesome do not bend. This is from Books on 7th Avenue. From 7th Avenue in Phoenix, Arizona. All right. What do we got? I think we can do this. Haha. <laughs> Let's see if my clever cutter will get through this. Beautiful. Look at that. Pachow. Slid right on out. Okay, what else do we got here? One, and I can just pop the book on out now. Nope, held in with some tape. And what do we got here? We appreciate, oh, they sent me a cool bookmark. Look at that. Books on seventh. Come on, we can do this. Hey, it's all nice and taped in. This is a Chastity number one, and this is a Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor cover. Like I said, I've really been on a chaos kick lately. I love these books. I am an old school chaos fiend. That 
beautiful. This is really neat. Wow. And we put it in a little Ultra Pro sleeve. This feels like one of those sleeves that they used to put in uh, the three ring binders back in the day. And this is the reimagined storylines. See what else we got. Oh, it's totally an Ultra Pro. No other bag and board, so I will leave that in there for now. But yeah, that's really neat. I like that. I hope to get to see Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti again. I want them both to sign that. They seem to be pretty easy to find at cons, so. All right, next up. Another tank. Really? That's insane. Rather see books overpackaged than underpackaged. So looks like there's a couple books in there again. What are you? another group of chaos comics <laughs> like I said I've kind of been on a chaos kick this is the Dead King miniseries oh look at that and this is the entire run again four issues there's issue one issue number two Issue number three and issue number four. God, those are amazing. There is a variant cover for issue number one that was done by Jim Ballant. I believe I have floating through here sometime soon. Wow, that's awesome. Man, okay. Can't wait to read that. It's also written by a man named Hart Fisher. You ever read anything by Hart Fisher? The guy is an amazing, amazing writer. And at one time, he was dubbed the most dangerous man in comics. It's another nice mailer here. This looks like one of those U-line mailers, though. It's adjustable for different sized books. Look at that. The book is all nice and taped in there. how I tape down my comics when I ship them too. I tape them down with masking tape because it comes off so easy. All right. Oh, actually this is a Gemini as well, but it's a Gemini book mailer. That's really interesting to know. I had no idea they made those. Cool. That definitely goes on the save stack. All right. And you are burr, 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 burr. A Max number one, Glow in the Dark Edition. Wow, I picked this up a couple months ago. Completely forgot I had this coming in. Beautiful. All this white area here, it all glows in the dark. And this is, you know, a little bit tough book to get. Oh, and it's so pretty. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that. I love Sam Keith and I love the Max. With the, the whole reintroduction of the Max and Batman miniseries going on right now, I'm really hoping for a continuation to the Max series. So, that would be awesome. All right, last up, what we got here? <laughs> All right, see, you take this tab and you rip it, right? It's supposed to open? No, no, it doesn't. See, eBay supplies these things and they put two adhesive strips. You're only supposed to use this one. So that way you can rip this and reuse this one yourself to either return the item or reuse the bag for shipping. Ah, I don't think I've seen a single seller yet that has sent me one of these things that only uses the single. They always do the double. All right, so let's see what's in this package. More cardboard. 
masking tape. A lot of this cardboard here, I will peel the tape off of and then send it to the recycling bin. Come on, this is the last book, folks. What will it be? Ha ha, it will be a nothing. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. last one. What are you? You are? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, why do I keep doing this? And now I just kicked my camera stand because I got so excited. All right, let's see what's in here. And you are? Choo -choo, there we go. The Dirty Pair, Run for the from the Future. This is a great series that came out of the 90s. It was so much fun. And this is the Ramos variant cover. And I picked this up specifically for a Ramos signing I have coming up. So that should be a lot of fun. All right, people, that's my mailbag for the day. Thank you for watching. To all my current subscribers, you guys are awesome. Love you. And uh, if you're new to the channel, Hit that little CV right there and that bell up there to let you know when I have all my good stuff coming out. And uh, yeah, comment. Let me, you know, let me, let me comment down below. Let me know what your favorite book was of the stack or anything to those effects if you just want to talk about one. And uh, yeah, thumbs up, share, share this across the world, across the world. Everyone in the world, share this, share this video now. Like always, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.